All right, as you see here, technology businesses have been relatively pessimistic about the state of the uh, economy. When assessing regional and national economic conditions, technology companies lack strong optimism. However, they are more optimistic about the global economy. Their assessment of the regional economy is particularly grim with the lowest rating given by any industry in our study. Jim, what have you seen happening with your clients throughout the pandemic year that might be causing some of these the responses? You know, it, it's an interesting slide and it, um, it, it focuses perhaps on the pessimistic outlook that uh, was probably present at some point during 2020, we met with many of our tech clients um, not too long after the pandemic started. Uh, some of them were happy to meet in, in person when the restaurants reopened, uh, and then some we met with virtually. And I think naturally there was a feeling of, of concern and caution. There's no way to say that that was unique to the tech, tech industry. We all felt it. But a unique aspect of those businesses is a lot of them are still in significant cash burn stage. You know, they're, they're still building out and enhancing their software offering, um, and, and they're dependent on uh, repeating capital infusions and, and significantly increasing revenue. So, you know, an event like that obviously caused uh, concern. But the other thing I think we noticed is is that turned pretty quickly. I don't think that. The management team stayed in, in in that mental state for long and, and most of our clients actually ended up experiencing increased revenues uh, and, and in fact a, a number saw um, significant revenue increases uh, and i don't think we saw anybody that had a cancellation or a curtailment in a plan capital raise during 2020 and they've been delayed uh, but I, I don't think we saw anyone that did not complete on plan there you know, another thing is that most of these businesses applied for and received PPP loans, uh, and, and those were of a significant assistance to maintaining their business plans uh, as they progressed in 2020. Uh, Kyle, what about you? What are you seeing with your clients? I, I had the same thought that Jim had when looking at the slide. You know, it's a little bit surprising. It's such a subjective question. You know, we're all in the same storm, but we're all in different boats, so it kind of depends on you know, what boat you were in is to kind of how you responded to the survey. Similar to Jim, you know, we share some clients. We have some, I have some different clients, but they're looking to get back to pre-pandemic levels. You know, they saw the downturn just like everybody else at the beginning. Um, but most of my clients were able to bounce back, you know, with the help of PPP. They were able to, to keep uh, in large part their workforce uh, that they had. Uh, they were, they continued to get their funding. Um, to the extent they had acquisitions on the table, they continued through with those, uh, whether they were the one being acquired or doing the acquiring. They're looking to expand, they're looking to hire. And so very resilient client base. And, and while the national uh, outlook may not be bright, uh, it seems like at least from my client base that they're seeming to turn the corner and uh, looking for growth. And that seems to be occurring. Great, I, I agree, and that's a good segue into this next slide. You know, according to our survey, increasing sales. You know, you, you just mentioned growth. That's the top priority uh, for 2021 of technology companies. And uh, if you look at the uh, results of the report, 94.2 percent of technology businesses believe they will achieve revenue growth in 2021, and well over half of the companies believe they will attain high levels of growth. Jim, anything uh, these organizations should think about as they look to grow sales and revenue. You know, the defining characteristic of tech companies is increasing revenue, right? I mean, that's that's their whole business model is a, a scaling revenue trajectory. And I don't think our clients are any, any different from that. One of the fascinating things that came out of this was the unique perspective that tech company management teams had on identifying opportunities as the results of the pandemic fell out. And it was it was nothing short of fascinating. I, I had some really, really delightful conversations uh, with those guys. But, and you know, I would define those teams uh, as fairly entrepreneurial, opportunistic, and, and nimble. To be redundant, a lot of them identified new opportunities and product services, products and service offerings, or they identified entirely new potential customer bases. 
that resulted simply from understanding uh, the effects of the pandemic. And it was, it was really interesting seeing how that played out. And of course, the real winners will, those, will be those who continue to identify and capitalize on those opportunities. And uh, to use a phrase that I often use, to skate where the hockey puck is going uh, rather than where it currently is. And frankly, most do a very good job of that. So I expect them to fully continue that trajectory into 21. Thank you.